we've added data access to our web-based application by adding seven lines of code. A line of code to initiate the connection to the database, a line of code to introduce our query through that connection, our select statement, and a line of code to create a new data set, another line to fill the data set, and then our last three lines of code here to bind that data set to the data grid. And then we simply duplicated that code in our command buttons click event and made a slight modification to the select statement to include a where clause that filters based on matching first names or last names. Now bear in mind this query was simplified for this demonstration. In production we'd want to make sure that we are calling a stored procedure to reduce the risk of SQL injection attacks. And I will quickly demonstrate a SQL injection attack and then in the next demo I'll show you how to resolve the issue of the SQL injection attack by calling stored procedures instead of ad hoc queries. So if we searched for A, nothing is returned. So we're going to use that A to eliminate the result set and then we'll do a union to combine the result set that's generated by the web page with the results of my SQL injection attack code. And I am simply going to select the name field from the tables system catalog and the name field from the columns system catalog. Uh, from sys.tables given the alias T join sys.columns given the alias C on the T dot object underscore ID field equals the C dot object underscore ID field. And then we don't want any of the code that comes after the first text box instance to be executed. So in SQL Server, a dash dash is a comment which tells SQL Server to ignore all of the remaining code. Now what happens when we search? Now we get a list of all of the tables and the associated columns that are in the database that this page is connected to. This is precisely why we don't write ad hoc queries that include input from a user via a text box or any other input form. In the next demonstration, I'll show you how to protect against this SQL injection attack by using store procedures instead of ad hoc queries in a web page. Please hit the subscribe button to be notified when that next video is posted. Oh.